Un peu de temps. 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 Lớp nhóm xong chlong từ xong nua mùi tiệt Cứ Nơi khăn chùm lái lấy bầm vầy Nơi cách xong phía Bỏ lô chì mùi nâng Cái lại xa cho công sở ổng kết Cứ ai cơ xa y xí rí Sla ha sập ram đọc mùi Lớp bán được làng đồ chê thạc Nhóm xong đọc xong Mình bỏ chí chân Chỉ chá ra ẩn lẹ khuôn chư Đói xa ca thua ca hô cầm lãng Nâng bồng miên ở hà hô cục cổ ẩn Nẹ đây mình ách từ thua ca đói xa tài miên chủ ngữ Nẹ nụ trấu kì bình chung tư xâm rạp chiếc ba nâng mình tí bẹt Nếu tí nụ Nẹ chủ ngữ ban tự tuôn ca chiếc ba xóm sọp Bồng tay bồng miên thân nằm cục cổ ẩn Xong nữa trong ai lúc dạ xây chùi bình chạm mưa thả ta chi tu tử Nẹ chồng ngư đã trâu kê bành chún tư một tí bệnh tam cọ đọc bọc lúc nữa Phía trang một thót cư miên chồng ngư ấy đấy Bạn nẹ chồng ngư đã bành chún mà một tí bệnh bọc nhầm bát cư Phía trang chồng ngư hâm rễ rũ Hãy nâng cồn chanh Ta lúc ạch bạp bàn tế thà bạc thân nằm bệt bạc phết ở vầy khá đại mình khoác hạt bằng phót nơi khăn ông bệt bạc lúc Bạn Thầy nắm, thầy nắm bên để khóa khát khăn ông tí bếch Bờ Bị chả nà đó cứ khóa Sân ở thằng ó và việc mình Việc miễn khá Bọn thầy việc mình cực rồn Anh thà Mình chẳng ngươi chỉ chán đôi chỉ hai ông rượu hủy nâng ta thân nằm bởi phết nâng cục rôn ai rực tế Bạn thân nằm bởi phết nâng mình cục rôn đi Chúng ta sẽ dùng nguồn mùi tiết cư nơi khăn ông châm lao y lệ mà rối xài xa phẩm phơ Nơi khăn ông cách xong phía bỏ lộ cho mùi xa chạy cao xa ổng kết Cư ai cơ xa y xri đọc bẩm bốn chọc mùi chọc một phái mùi Lốt bàn Kế xu lục thả Nơi mình tí phê đọc bỏ lộ mình nẹ chùm ngữ chôl phía bà Nâng nẹ đếch bệt và hai lúc mà nẹ khăn ông ngồi thằng ngày Hai lúc chào ý thả Phần này bỏ rõ miên và hai lúc chiến xam sập nẹ khăn ông ngồi thằng ngày Hai miên nẹ khá thằng ngôn bê có xa lạp tờ Trong này phần này nè ri vấn cứ miên chiến mà rối nẹ khăn ông ngồi thằng ngày Xem nuốt khuyên thà chẳng nuôn rồi bỏ nẹ chẳng ngư sợ trầy nâng một tí bẹt bỏ lốp Cứ miên chẳng nuôn chẳng ăn chiếng bỏ rõ Mù là hẹt ở vấy đây mà nà là ai sợ trầy miên chẳng ngư chẳng ăn chiếng bỏ rõ Nên khăn ông sọc trầm cọ nâng Sạ thích mạng toàn chạy tốt, xong chương hình lúc Mình tùy bây giờ có bế No objection, Mr. President, that I have something different in my English version of the 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 English version of
สะใจลอยตอบรองทิศเอาเข้ามาเข้ามาตอนลอยตอบพระที่ท่านเมียนปัญหาหลาดรวมไทยคังมาสินประเทศจรักมันเรียกว่าตลาดการตลาดรวมปีนิดมือดำไปชุกชุลออยดำนาการลางวิ่งมาจริงจริงไปต่อเตียนเหมือนเดิมจริงมันตอนชลายได้ให้ตั้งทำบุญจงกรอยมันมันใส่จะทำไมหลังไม่จะไม่เอาใส่ใส่ชลายต่อจำนวนวัคซีนสุธามูลให้ตัวไว้บางทีนึกน้องสกรามเกาะนั่งมีเนี่ยจุ่มงูจีสตรายชาญเชียงบ่รอมาเนี่ยจงมือจะใจเมียนชาวเชียงบรอโนขนมหมอมทีเป็ดบ่อนสรงมรอยพรำคือมงปีจะใจเมียนกำลังซอยเชียงบรอไอโฮบใบมันกบไอเธอกาไอเธอกาโปรกรรมเบียคลังปีลอยเบียมอเชิญมาไงมาไงมอเชิญขยมนักเรียนมาสมโนติดมนต์นักขยมบรรจับกาสูดังดาบอกขยมสมโนนี่คือโลกบาลเด็กล้างเด็กน้องจมลอยเลยมาลอยใส่สปมเปิลตัดได้ถ้าเมียนเนี่ยจมงูมวยจมนุ่นได้เติบบรรจุดอลมันตีเปิดบอกโลกบาลสลับขยมสมดอกสองถ้าให้เมียนเนี่ยคละงุ้นเปย์ก็สลับตาโลกอาจเป็นโยบานเต้ท่าให้แต่ไว้แต่โลกบานเดือกลางนี่เอาไว้แต่โลกบานเดือกลางนี่มีในอย่างใดมันได้ไหมเนี่ยจงมือเนี่ยจงมือเด็ดงวนมาปีประจุนมาปีคุ้มกูจุนกาเลยเนี่ยจงมือนั่งชื่อปีกาเลยการทานมอมอดอลมันตีเป็ดคุ้มคลังไอ้เนี่ยมันตีเป็ดคุ้มไปจูนมอเตียจูนกาเลยมอดอลกระดาษพลอยก็สลับเตาจูนกาเลยมอดอลมันตีเป็ดขยมนั่งสลับเพลียมนั่งเพลียมเตาก็ใส่ซอฟเยอะเลยไปเนาะเอาคนลูกสาวใส่ตะบานฉลอยสนุกขยมจีโฮไฮไฮลูกปฏิทินขยมส่งมาจับสนุกนุ่มเป็นนี่ไฮจิตมันต่อเตี้ยสักอะไรบอกขยมก่อนมีสนุกมันต่อเตี้ยสมองคนบ่าเอาคนเอาสมจริงสามปีเนี่ยเราอันตรายชีวิต้องการที่จะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่าจะเรียนรู้ว่า
phơi rồi bài ca nó lưu cái đá hay bị chun tàu thế cứ tàu thơ rồi bài ca đòi toàn mất nấu chung phu mục lục và thiền sọc mu là hết mong pi thơ rồi bài ca không cái đá nâng thơ thơ ấy bỏ thơ tấu bỏ thà nhảy chung ngư chớn còn men khơi nắm hay bờ nhẹ chung ngư ọt bài hút của ọt miên khơi hút khơi có ai máu nâu ta và năng ở đấy chẳng rê ca mọt tề hay có chết ta sốc hút máu ọt miên bài nhà um, Thank you. How often Some did you Uh, attend meetings to report to the district chief. ហើយគណៈស្រុកនឹងញឹកញាប់ប៉ុណ្ណោះដែរបាទទៅធ្វើរបាយការឲ្យគណៈសុខជួនកាលទៅតាមម្នាក់ឯងពេលដាច់ខ
Now, Mr. Witness, I've provided these to you and your council just so you have them in case you wish to refer. Um, I'm going to refer now to answer 15 in your first OCIJ interview, E3 slash 5511. Uh, in that answer, you described a, a quarterly meeting uh, at which you were asked by the district committee why people in the hospital suffered from diarrhea and puffiness or swelling. Uh, can you tell the court uh, what you told the district committee when they asked you why there were people in the hospital who were sick with diarrhea and swelling? And you said him, uh, were at this meeting, were you reporting to the entire district committee or was it just the district chief? And what was the district chief's response when you told him that people were sick because they didn't have enough food to eat and were suffering from malnutrition? And did you ask the district chief to provide more food to the hospital? Uh, and if so, what was his response? In the next answer, question and answer, in that same statement, E3-5511, answer 16, you described the ration of rice that was given to the district, given by the district to your hospital as follows, quote, I was allowed to have 50 cans of rice for 250 patients. Four cans of rice were equivalent to one kilogram, end of quote. Uh, can you tell us, was, was that a daily ration? What was the uh, period for which you would receive uh, 50 cans of rice for 250 patients? And did the rations remain the same throughout the entire uh, period that you worked at the district hospital? Do you remember um, the year this meeting took place, or, or do you remember who the district chief was uh, at the time 
um, of this incident where you reported that there was mal malnutrition and you were accused of attacking the cooperatives. While we are talking about the district chiefs, uh, I want to see if I can go uh, through with you uh, the succession of people um, who were the district chief of Tramcock uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime. Um, in your interview E319.1.21 at answer 213, uh, you identified a woman named Kom, who was the daughter of Tamok and the wife of Mies Mut, uh, and stated that she was the District 105 secretary early in the regime, but that, in your words, she went insane. Can you describe uh, for the court uh, what Ye Kom was like as a district chief and what happened to her? ເພິ່ນຕາຍີຄົມນັ້ນຈະມະນຸດແບບນາໄດ້ <laughs> And do you know what happened to her after uh, she became insane? In uh, answer 13 of interview E3 slash 5511, uh, you identified the uh, following people as being District Committee, District 105 Committee. Quote, Tachai, Takit, Tachim, and Tassan. And you noted that Takit and Tachim were biological siblings. Uh, and in your DC CAM interview, D313-1.2.409, at English ERN 00729041, Khmer 00418824, and French 00808621. You stated, quote, question, what was the name of the district's chief? Answer, it was Takit, whose predecessor was Tachim. Takit was followed by Tassan, younger brother-in-law of Tamok, end of quote. Do I understand correctly that Tachim was the district chief after ແລະຈຶມຄືຊິປະທານສະຫຼົບຕຳກໍກ້າວ <coughs> Uh, 
All right, I'll come back to, to that uh, in a little while. Um, after Tachim and Yekom, can you tell us your recollection of who the district chiefs were? ແລະຕາຕາຈຶມໃຫ້ນັ້ນຍິງຄົມນະມັນຈົ່ງກ້ອຍພົດມຸນນັ້ນກໍຈັບຂອງນັ້ນຄືຕາສານ And you've indicated that Tachai was district chief for a period. Um, can you tell us when uh, he was district chief or who it was that, um, uh, where he fell in the succession of district chiefs, who he was district chief after and before? ក្រោយតាចាយមានតាគិតហើយនឹងតាជំហើយបាន Uh, Mr. Witness, I'm going to try to uh, refresh your recollection about the timing of uh, that uh, Chim and Kit were district chiefs. Um, in interview E319, uh, I'm sorry, interview OCIJ, interview E3400, uh, at pages Khmer 00373, Four five nine English zero zero three seven nine one seven one French zero zero four two six one seven nine. So 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 in February 1977, and that he was replaced as district secretary by his brother Kit. Does that refresh your recollection that Chim was district secretary after Ye Kom, and that Chim was then succeeded by his brother Kit? Was a kit someone that you knew fairly well? Uh, let me ask you before I uh, let me ask you about another uh, some other people that you referenced in your various interviews in a DC cam interview D313/1.2 1.409 and here I'm referring to Khmer 0041887 English 00729094 and French 00808678. You referred uh, to a cadre named Takiv uh, who had been arrested. Can you tell us uh, what was Takiv's position in Trampak District? ការពីតំបងមុនបង្អស់ដែលចាប់ដើមគឺ
โยมบานจูกอดมันดังบานประมาณใครพ้องโยมเพลย์ใหญ่ไอ้กอดอลชนะมันได้กำลังไอ้กอดก็บานบาดเอาดังตัวนาบาดเอานี่คุณบอกว่าเขาถูกอัดออกไปเมื่อไหร่คุณเกิดเหตุการณ์ที่ทำให้เขาได้รับการจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกจับกุมและเขาถูกก่อนนี้ยายปราบตะกิดปูเมียนตะกิดให้ขย่มให้ก่อนเลยใบเนี่ยนกเตี้ยปุจีปรอดไปก่อนเต่าเด็กนกหนังถ้าขย่มหนึ่งลีบองเต่าไอ้ดังเต่าอีนาได้ไปเจียบาดได้จังให้ก่อบัดฝังหดต่างไอ้นังม้อหลอดตัวเราหนังขย่มหมดดังอีกหนึ่ง Two people actually that I'd like to ask you about. In answer 13 of your OCIJ statement E3 5511, you identified a person named Dan who held the position of chief or head of the district office. And in your DC CAM interview, D313/1.2.409. Khmer 00418877, English 00729095396, French 00808067969. You identified a man named P, someone who had a broken leg and who had preceded Dan. As head of the district office, uh, can you explain? Um, my question is: Can you explain what P and Dan's roles or responsibilities were as chief of the district office, and how their function differed from the people who were district secretary? ประเทียนมันตีสระกนั่นคือข้อปีมันนึกโดยจิตชมุกจมกัดนั่งข้อคะแนนดาวระเบียบนะบ้านประเทียนชมุกพี่นั่งชมุกดอนนี่หนูเ
French zero zero eight zero eight six one one. You provided uh, the following statement about another occasion uh, where you had tried to discuss the possibility of increasing production of medicine. And this is what you said in that interview, I quote, I also wanted to make more productions, but I needed more raw materials. When I raised this issue, they said it would be impossible. Raising this issue, I had my conscious conscience assessed. I was assessed as having the imagination of a bourgeois and an intellectual rather than a worker. End of quote. Who was it that criticized you as being a bourgeois and intellectual when you raised the idea of trying to produce more medicine? Was this the same meeting where you were accused of attacking the cooperatives for saying people had malnutrition, or was this a different meeting? And in that same uh, DC CAM interview at Khmer 00418817, English 00729033, French 00808613. Uh, you made the, f you gave the following testimony or statement. Question: Did patients die at that center? Answer: First, only few died occasionally, but later the death, the death toll increased dramatically due to dysentery and malnutrition. And continuing below, generally speaking, malnutrition and dysentery led to five deaths per day in the last period, end of quote. Uh, can you tell us why the number of deaths from malnutrition increased dramatically in the latter part of the Khmer Rouge regime? การโน้นโน้ดอลเปิลจองกร้อยคือรึแต่อดคลั่งไปเชื่อบรอดนั้นอดเมียนไอหกมองจังอาจจะมือห้ามจะมือเรียรู้นั้นรึแต่เมียน
majority of people who died from malnutrition, 17 April people or base people. And after you were criticized by the district chief for attacking the cooperatives and for being a bourgeois and intellectual, uh, did you ever raise again with the leaders of Tramcock district the problem of mal malnutrition and insufficient medicine in the district. <laughs> I'd like now to turn to a different subject, um, the subject of purges of enemies. In uh, both of your OCIJ interviews, uh, you described being present at a Tramcock district meeting at which instructions were given on the categories or groups of people to be purged. In, specifically in interview E, 319.1.21 at answers 40 through 43. You described how the district committee instructed that the following people were to be purged, and I quote, former government workers with the rank of first assistant to the chief of commune and above were to be arrested and sent to be executed. Former government police and military officials with the rank of warrant officer and above were also to be arrested and killed. Continuing in the next question and answer. Question. Apart from the above categories, were there any other groups also to be purged? Answer. Yes, any of the people who went around speaking against the Khmer Rouge had to be reported and taken away to be killed. Question. Among the people considered Khmer Rouge opponents, were they also classified as feudalist, Chinese, CIA, KGB, Khmer Krom, Cham, or Buddhist followers? Answer. I did hear that people from Kampuchea Krom had been accused of being KGB agents, UN spies. At those meetings, it was brought up that all the Khmer Krom had to be killed. End of quote. The first thing uh, I would like to clarify with you, Mr. Witness, uh, is whether there was only one meeting at which these instructions were provided, uh, or were there multiple meetings where, where these issues were discussed? And where did that meeting take place? How many district cadres uh, were present at this meeting? And specifically, were the commune chiefs in attendance? Mark, 
In your uh, first OCIJ interview, E3 slash 5511 at answer 9, you stated, and I quote, the chiefs of the district, the communes, the villages, and unit members were invited to attend a conference. The conference participants were informed of what categories of people to be purged. Continuing below, the conference was attended by the district committee. There was a planned purge. People who were targeted to be purged included soldiers from the ranks of corporal sergeant and above in the army, and from the first deputy chief and above in the administration. Now, one thing I, I just want to clarify uh, to be sure about uh, in the uh, other OCIJ interview I read, uh, the former military to be purged were described as those with the rank of warrant officer and above, instead of corporal sergeant and above. Um, however, when I looked at the French translation, uh, the military rank was described the same in both interviews, that of adjutant. And your DC CAM interview uh, also stated that the uh, rank to be killed were, was anyone with the rank of warrant officer and above, uh, at who you referred to as commissioned officers. And uh, this was a reference at D3, D313, 1.2.409, Khmer 00418.8. 851 English 00729068 French 00808648 uh, and what I uh, wanted uh, to ask you was just to explain what you meant by in your words in Khmer uh, the rank that the district committee instructed were to be purged. <coughs> จับตั้งพี่เปอัดสลังลางเท่าไอ้บ่แผนรัฐบาลกึดพี่จมตุบเลขมวยลางเด้าคือบ่สะอาดได้สะอาดมั้งแอนด์ who was the district representative who provided these instructions at this meeting? You have uh, testified that there were commune chiefs present uh, at, the meet, at this meeting uh, where the district committee gave instructions on the former uh, law and soldiers and officials to be purged. Uh, there are a number of reports from communes uh, relating to the arrests of former ranking officers or officials. Uh, I'd like to now uh, show you a few of those reports. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to provide these documents uh, together to the witness. They are E3 slash 2048, E3 
2435 E3 slash 4103 slash 2917 uh, With your leave, I'll provide them to the witness together and then I will go through uh, the documents and also we'd like to show them on the screen as we uh, question the witness. Mr. Witness, I've handed you a number of documents. I'm going to take you through them one by one. Um, the first is uh, E32048, and it's Khmer page 00079089, English 00276562-63, and French 00611659. This is a report to Tramcock District Ankar from Chiang Torn Commune, signed by someone named Moon, dated the 30th of April, 1977, uh, and it includes the following statement, quote, after having received successive instructions from Ankar about being vigilant about the enemy and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked examined and found the following persons, end of quote. Uh, do you remember a cadre from Chiang Torn commune named Mun? The next uh, report uh, in the collection I gave you uh, is also E32048 at Khmer 79091. English 00276564 and French 00611661. And it is a report uh, from Tapem Commune signed by someone named Kit uh, that was sent uh, almost at the same time as the last document uh, on the 28th of April, 1977. And it reports that the commune had, and I quote, examined and purged the enemies who held ranks after having received the instructions of the party, uh, end of quote. Um, my, my question for you uh, about this document um, was there a, another cadre in the district named Kit uh, who was a representative of Tapem commune, a different person than the Kit who was the district chief? The next uh, document is E3 slash 2435, and it is a report from Ang Tassam Commune to District Ankar. Dated the 26th of April 1977, uh, which confirmed that, and I quote, for those who have ranks as first lieutenant or second lieutenant, 
I am going to contact with Comrade Yorn, District Military, in order to take them out this evening right away. And this note, I believe, appears uh, on the uh, second page of the report. My question, uh, do you, did you know a cadre uh, from the district military named Comrade Yorn? And then I have two documents from Popo Commune. Um, first, E3-4103, uh, at Khmer 00143476, and this is on the right side of that page, English 00322133, French 00612838. And this is a document uh, dated the 11th of April uh, from a cadre from Papal Commune named Chorn, who reported to the district, quote, for those people who held a ranking position, we will send them to you one after another, end quote. And one month later, uh, in early May 1977, uh, in the next document, E3-2917, uh, the same commune reported to the district that 106 military families, 393 people, had already been smashed by Ankar or died, and the commune was screening more families to find out whether or not they are of the, of the military personnel." End of quote. Um, first, um, do you remember a cadre from Papal Commune named Chorn? You've mentioned um, a woman named Bun, who was chief of Cheng Tong Commune. Did you know Bun's husband? Do you remember was uh, Ye Bun present uh, at this meeting uh, where the district chief announced this plan for purges of law and law officers? These documents that I've shown you uh, from four different communes uh, in Trumpkak District um, are all from the same time period, uh, April to early May 1977. Uh, do these documents um, refresh your recollection about the timing of the meeting you attended, where instructions were provided on the purge of law and law officers. And specifically, do you remember when in relation to April 1977 that meeting took place? Was it before April 77 or was it after April 1977? 
I object to this question. Can you some jump out and castle some no in the dictionary for a textbook leading question? Put a which is some no no more. This is not a way to ask a woman here with his feeding him all kinds of details around dates and then ask him to pick up a child somehow. How he sat say, got chloe, tat, ah, hang down the blood. So, if I may respond, your purpose. Of documents as they help witnesses remember dates. The question was not leading. I asked the witness whether the meeting was before or after April 1977. That is not a leading question, that is the exact opposite of a leading question. ອົງຈໍາເບຣະປະຕິສາດໃນໃສ່ຈຸມຕົ້ຕຂອງມິດວີການປີກໄດໃຫ້ອົງຈໍາເບຣະປະກາດສະດັບໃນຈໍາລອ